time for another G.I. Joe toy review. Today we're going to be looking at a really cool figure from 83. One of my favorites, actually. Uh, he's a favorite because of his uh, color scheme and the fact that he is an airborne assault trooper. We're looking at the 83 Airborne. Uh, he was released in said year. He was on the shelves until 1985 when he was discontinued. But he was avail available again through Hasbro Direct in 1986 through 87. He came with a nine pack of figures with the case uh, uh, titled the uh, Original uh, Adventure Team. There is a variant on the figure. We'll I'll go into that more uh, when we look at him, but the chevrons on his sleeve are a little bit thicker with some variants. Which one is more uh, valuable, you may ask. It, yojo com didn't mention that. His original retail price was $2.25. Uh, I also tried to find what figures came with that excess, uh, with, with the... Um, adventure team pack but um, every time I tried to click on it with yojo.com it would send me over to eBay and that just showed an adventure team logo so there we have it <laughs> airborne uh, is one of two Native Americans on the GI Joe team uh, in the cartoon airborne was depicted as having uh, psychological powers, uh, telepathy, mental telepathy with his brother. And that was a very interesting cartoon. Uh, Cobra was capturing their family members that had psychic abilities and his brother had telekinesis where he could move things with his mind. And uh, so they had attached an apparatus to his head and they were using him as a weapon. And Airborne was really uh, utilized a lot in that cartoon. And then he was sort of phased out. But he is an unsung hero of the G.I. Joe line, in my opinion. He's a great figure. Comes with very some cool accessories. Some accessories are overused uh, quite a bit, especially his backpack. Uh and his body parts were used in production of some of the Steel Brigade figures. So I am really excited to get to review this figure today. Uh, I just completed him. I needed his rifle. So he is now complete. And I am quite happy about that. Uh, the color scheme on him is really good. Uh, like I said previously, he is one of the two Native Americans that are on the Joe team. And the following year, um, we got Spirit. And he is a fabulous figure, too. I really liked him. We played with him a lot as well. And I do have some memories of Airborne. Uh, he only went on one mission with John and I. Um, we were playing in my front yard, and uh, there was this big pile of bricks that the landlord had left there. So we would make bases and forts out of these bricks and play with the Joes in there. So we had all these bricks piled up into buildings and made a small town. And Airborne, his O-ring broke, and... Um, John, instead of fixing him, he just threw him away. It's like, oh, man, you can take it apart, replace the rubber band. But he said he, he took it home and threw it away. So that was the only um, memory I have of Airborne. So there's the light blue color on his vest I really liked, especially. So without any further gabbing, let's go ahead and take a look at this figure. Right, so here he is, Airborne. Great looking figure. But let's go ahead and start with his file card. Uh, there is a variant on the file card. This is the first release. 
This is the second release was in peach and it had H1 down here in the lower right hand corner. This was clipped off of his card back and you could see new swivel arm battle grip. So this was the first year swivel arm came about. So he is a helicopter assault trooper. So I do display him with Wild Bill in the Dragonfly. His code name is Airborne. Uh, file name is Tall, T Tall Tree Franklin E. Serial number RA03044623. Primary military specialty airborne infantryman. Secondary military specialty helicopter gun gunship gunner. Or hell, yeah, gunship gunner. That just sounded weird. Birthplace, the Navajo Re Reservation in Arizona. That is not too far from where I live, uh, the Navajo Res. Uh, I've been through there a few times. I stop by there uh, every summer and get their fry bread. Oh, if you've never tried Indian fry bread, you have to. It is, oh, good stuff. He is grade E5. He is a sergeant. Middle paragraph reads, Airborne's parents are rich oil Navajos who indulged their eldest son with skydiving lessons. Tall Tree also studied law and passed the Arizona State Bar exams. So why didn't he become a, a JAG, you know, Judge Advocate General? Joined the Army and opted for airborne training committing I'd rather jump out of airplanes and write legal briefs. So that answers the question. Graduated top of the class from Airborne School of Fort Benning. I actually have a friend who is stationed in Fort Bragg, not too far from there. Qualified expert. Hughes helicopter chain gun. Uh, so he is a Huey door gunner. M16, M60, M1911, A1 auto pistol. Bottom paragraph reads, Airborne jokes around and gets loose, but he's serious too, dead serious. You look at him and sometimes he's looking right through you. Must be the Indian in him. Navajos call it the far-seeing look. Spooky. Okay. Could just you could also be daydreaming. So let's go ahead and take a look at this figure. Uh, let's look at his accessories first. All right, he comes with this M16 with a folding stock and a bayonet affixed on the end of it. Very nice looking M16. I've always liked when the figures came with this weapon. It is a real world weapon. Uh, he came with his helmet, which has a pair of goggles sculpted onto it. They go all the way around. Oh, pardon me. You see there's nice detail to that. That is a camouflage cover over his helmet. Comes with a backpack, same one that came with Duke and other figures. Um, also came with Steel Brigade. But you can see there's a shovel and a bedroll on there. There's pockets there, across there. And the crossbar inside the backpack. Others do not have that crossbar in there. You can see where it has that upside down looking cross on the inside. Uh, Airborne himself, the color scheme on him is absolutely fantastic. I love this color scheme, especially the light blue vest that he is wearing. Uh, he has gray boots, combat boots. Very nice detail on those boots. Uh, he's wearing this brown jumpsuit, it appears to be. He has knee pads and a pistol sculpted on his right leg. He has a cargo pocket 
there on his left leg. You can see it there. Uh, he has what appears to be parachute a parachute harness wrapped around his, or that could be repelling harness too, uh, wrapped around his uh, waist there. He has a bandolier with a stiletto in it and a small hand grenade, and that's all painted green. And they put that nice gray paint app on there. That's something that they they would have overlooked in later years, but they were still putting a lot of detail into this. Has the H harness on the back, of course, on top of that powder blue vest. That really breaks up these colors, and it's still really cool looking. And the chevron there on his left arm, I had mentioned that others have a thicker chevron, but this is the thinner ver variant, and the thick one does really stand out. Uh, olive green, and an olive complexion, I shouldn't say olive green, but an olive complexion, short black hair, and a very studious look on his face. He's almost frowning. But uh, that must be the far-seeing stare that they were talking about in his file card. But just look at that picture. It shows him repelling, you know, screaming. Great artwork on there. Cool action figure altogether. Alrighty. So let me know what you guys think about this figure. I mean, if you had him in your childhood or if you have him now, uh, he's one of the best that 83 put out. So um, very highly prized for me. Great figure. Uh, so if you're wanting him on the aftermarket, there are a lot out there uh, since he did have such a long run. Uh, you know, being on the pegs for two years and then had another year run with um, Hasbro Direct. So really he was, you know, three years out there. And as always, the Hasbro Direct figures come in a bag and they have the red back file card. Uh, also with Sears and JCPenney exclusives. So that brings me to my favorite segment. Byron's Gripes. Yes. So he is out there. There are quite a few of him for sale. Finding him complete is not difficult. Uh, and he is relatively inexpensive. So here we go. Want one complete with the file card? One is being sold for $15, but... The stingy soul is asking $9.60 to ship it. That is, here in the States, to ship it. He's not shipping to another country at that price. Of course, when you ship out of country, it's a lot more. So you expect to pay more because of international handling and customs and tariffs and stuff like that. So... He's just trying to squeeze a few extra cents out of you in shipping. The prices go all the way up to $37.99. This is complete with the file card. $37.99 is a bit greedy on that. But um, anywhere from $20 to $25, I would call those prices the deal of the day because those are pretty decent prices. And I would pay that for this figure. Uh, Complete with no file card, $18.99, deal of the day, to $35, miser of the day. Again, um, it goes with my favorite saying. I haven't said it recently, but just because it says G.I. Joe, it does not mean it should be expensive. Absolutely not. Oh... So, for those of you just joining, I uh, appreciate all of you for subscribing, especially those who just recently who recently subscribed. So, thank you, gentlemen and ladies, very much for that. Um, I only quote eBay prices. I don't quit, quote 
the auction prices because those are fluid. I'm not doing this segment to pick on eBay nor the sellers. I don't do that on this channel or any other channel. I don't have any other channel. That was a lie. I just don't do it. Uh, this is just for mere convenience, entertainment and educational, so you know what to expect as far as prices. Uh, just by himself, the airborne figure, without any accessories, $4.99 to $8.25. So you could pay for him by himself. Even with shipping, you could buy the accessories and still get him cheaper than purchasing him complete. So this is one that you could build on a budget. Uh, I didn't find his gun for sale. His backpack, $1.99 to $2.99. That's pretty common. Uh, same backpack that came with Duke. Uh, his helmet, $2.99 to $4.99. Uh, the full card back by itself on cut, $18.02. That's about average for a nice card back for its time. Uh, complete with the full card back, $29.84. That's deal of the day as well. You're getting the whole shebang -a bang course without the bubble that it came in but that is a that's a great bundle right there if you're a full card back collector and you want to get the complete figure snatch this up it won't be there long uh, there is a guy selling one complete with a repro card reproduction card that's unpunched 20 or 75 dollars i think that's a bit high but he's probably trying to recoup the cost of reproducing the card which i don't blame him watch out please my friends watch out for these reproduction cards there are a lot of people out there who are honest i think 99 percent of the population is honest it's that one percent that really messes things up for people uh, somebody could have a reproduction card and not really know what they have and try to pass it off as the real thing the only really way of telling from my experience is feeling you have to have it in your hand does it feel the same weight as a vintage card is the card stock the same so that makes it difficult to really really tell these things um, especially with you know laser printers and people we have skilled people out there skilled customizers uh, black major red laser um, uh, those guys are reproducing these action figures and they are looking fabulous. It's hard to tell the real ones unless you actually study them. So ask questions if you're going to buy a full card back. And a telltale sign would be where to, you know, little bends and creases, things of that nature. So, uh, that's PSA for today. <laughs> Mint on card. $469.99. So if you're a mint on card collector, there you go. There is one, a mint on card with an AFA grading of 85. We talked about that not last week, but the week before, I think it was. Uh, 85 means it's near mint. So that's as close as you can get to being perfect. Uh, that is $999.99. So $1,000 for that comes in a nice ceramic case and you have the AFA sticker up on it. So that is a collector's item, a display piece. If you're a mint on card collector, AFA graded guy, uh, I honestly do not have a thousand bucks just to throw at one action figure. Um, if you do, God bless you. I'm happy for you that, that you do have that. Uh, but uh, I just don't. I don't, man. You know, uh, I, I, just, I just don't, man. I had to bring my brown bag to school. No, I'm <laughs> sorry. Sleep deprivation. Uh, my mom is home.
uh, from the hospital and we're just getting acclimated. So um, I'm not sleeping as deep as I normally do. So I could hear for her calling me if she needs help with something, but she's doing fantastic. Thank you guys very much for your support with, mm -hmm. with her. Very happy to have her home. So, and the end here, a uh, file card, $19.21. I would not pay that for any file card. That guy is thinking he's sitting on King Tut's treasure. No, uh, that is way too much for any file card from any era of G.I. Joe. Even the redback cards, I wouldn't pay that much for. So, um... There you have it, guys. There is my review of the 83 Airborne. Hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please share this video and sub subscribe to my channel. Uh, please leave me some comments. I do answer those. I answer them fairly quickly. Uh, I really enjoy talking to you guys. I want to thank my channel supporters out there. Uh, their names are down in the description. Um, how do you become a channel supporter? Uh, simply by making donations to this channel. My email is down in the description. My mailing address is down in the description as well. If you want to get in contact with me on how to do that, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be anything. You don't have to donate anything. Um, I do appreciate it. It helps this channel out. Allows me to free up money to buy things for um, giveaways. So, um, yeah. And all subscribers are eligible for their own giveaway. So when I do have those, the channel supporters will, will have their separate giveaway from all the subscribers. So, uh, just my way of thanking all of you guys. And I do hold giveaways. As you can see, a few weeks back, I held one. So, there you have it. That's the review. Uh, this is Joe Motion Videos 82 signing off. You guys have a great day. As always, be kind to one another, and especially be kind to animals. They know nothing but unconditional love. So, we'll see you next week for another fantastic toy review. This is Joe Motion Videos saying bye-bye. Take care.